During our journey of faith, we may experience boredom, similar to the Israelites who walked 40 years in the history of the desert. It feels as though the same routine continues on a loop. It repeats one year, two years, and so on. God said, stay steadfast to the truth until the end, until I come. There must be a reason for saying this, right? Let's turn to the book of Revelation, chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse 10. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole world to test inhabitants of the earth. I am coming soon. Hold on to. What should we hold on to? Hold on to what you have. It is because Satan will surely create circumstances in which we cannot hold on firmly. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. If they had endured just one more day, or even two more days, or one more month, they could have been in a position to partake in that glory. Reflect on the unfortunate news that followed when they abruptly abandoned everything, claiming it is too hard and unbearable. Since Zhang Jia is a famous person, he is widely talked about by many people. Once upon a time in the Zhao dynasty of China, there was a man named Jiang Jia. Even at the age of 80, he was always found fishing by the river. His wife grew resentful, thinking, must I spend my life taking care of my incompetent husband? He always headed to the river to fish, never considering a position of authority. If the husband was 80, the wife would not have been young either. At that age, she left her husband and walked out of the house. At that time, the king of the Shang dynasty was engaging in severe tyranny, prompting King Wen of Zhao to think, this is an opportunity to attack and conquer the Shang dynasty, leading him to start recruiting talented individuals. Therefore, after undergoing three days of purification, he went to meet Zhang Zia. Upon arrival, he indeed found that Zhang Zia was no ordinary man, far surpassing the rumors he had heard. Thus, he immediately explained his plan and appointed Zhang Zia as the grand commander to lead the campaign against the Shang dynasty. Throughout his 80 years, Zhang Zia reflected on the various military strategies he had mastered, effectively led the entire army, and ultimately conquered the Shang dynasty. After the war ended, King Wu contemplated, how can I establish an administrative system in this country to effectively govern this vast land? Thus, he decided to divide the country, assigning each person a kingdom and creating what were known as feudal states so that the feudal lords could take care of their land. This administrative system was established to defend against enemies and foreign invasions. King Wu thought, who made the greatest contribution to the conquest of the Shang dynasty? He realized it was Zhang Zia. Therefore, he granted Zhang Zia the kingdom of Qi. Zhang Zia instantly became the founding king of Qi. Upon becoming king, many people accompanied him as he journeyed to the kingdom of Qi. The wife who had left thought, since my husband has become a king, I will instantly become a queen. Thus, overjoyed, she danced her way into the procession and announced, I am your wife who supported you all these years. It was a request to be treated as his wife. He asked for a bowl of water to be brought. Suddenly, as Zhang Zia poured the water onto the ground, he left these words. If you can gather this water and put it back in a bowl, 
then I will acknowledge you as my wife. Can you put it back in a bowl? Since she had failed to endure to the end, she lost the glorious opportunity to become the founding queen of a nation. Such a regretful outcome happened. Afterward, as king of the key, Jiang Zia needed successors to strengthen the royal authority, so he took a new queen, greatly prospering the kingdom, which then became one of the most powerful feudal states. It is the same with our faith. He who stands firm to the end will be saved. God's blessings are on those who endure to the end. There are many teachings in the Bible in regard to this. Let us never lose our faith no matter what hardships we face, hoping that we will always strive to become those who never give up on the kingdom of heaven in any situation. I would like to conclude the sermon. Thank you very much.